if you have a G5, you may have run into a problem with your firewire on occasion. I have uh, had the power go out down here with the computer on, with a bunch of drives plugged in, and none of my firewires are working. And so I always freak out because I never remember how to do this, and it's like, why isn't my drive working? And I always think it's the drive. But you actually have what's called an SMU controller switch. I don't know why it doesn't reset automatically, but every now and again your firewires just quit and you can't figure out why all of your drives go down all it, they're all still running you know they're they work they power on and off they sound fine but it's like the computer isn't reading them so i'm going to show you right now how to how to reset that smu switch it's the easiest thing in the world if you remember it so first thing i'm going to do is actually unplug the machine which is way in the back on the bottom there so i unplugged it and then i'm going to hit power here and I'm going to hit it a couple times. Every now and again, you'll have electricity kind of saved in the system. And if you have a static discharge, like off your shoes or your socks or whatever, it can surge through the system and fry stuff. So you want to unplug it and then hit your power button to kind of discharge any electricity that's still kind of hanging around in your system. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and lift the lever so I can open this. I'm going to take off the outer cover, I'm going to take out my air deflector, and I'm also going to take out my fan here, very gently. And then, we are going to reset this switch. It's way down in here, underneath your, um, under your RAM chips. Um, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. You can see it, it's a little square guy that's next to that power cable. Next to that blue screw. Let me see if I can get my finger in there to point at it. It's that guy right there. I'm right under the ram. So I'm just going to reach in there and I'm going to push it with my finger a couple times. And that should reset it. Um, let me see. I got a pencil right here. The best thing really to use is a, a pencil with a clean eraser because that way you know you're not going to damage anything. And I'm going <laughs> I'm, to, I'm looking at the camera screen, so I'm going to put that in there and I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it a couple times and then I'm just going to release it. So now we can go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and put back in my fan and my air deflector and the outer cover I'm gonna make sure I'm not pinching any of those cables and then I'm going to plug it back in and we'll start it up and turn on a drive and see what happens so do you want me to do the dance? okay um, no dancing this time you can just cut so the, the computer's launched now, I've got my drives ready to go, I'm just going to turn on this first one and we're going to wait and it should just pop up. I hope. There it is. So it worked. That's good. Yay! Hard drives are back on. Another place that... Um, if you go to your disk utility, I've got it in my toolbar, but you can find this in your, your utilities. Um, this will show you your different devices. And what had happened, even though that this drive was powered on, nothing was showing up. I can eject it. I can actually unmount it, but I still have the drive there. It's not ejected. It's not. Um, now it's totally gone and the drive is off, so I can safely turn it off. But this is what you'll see. Um, none of your external drives will show up even though they're powered on. It's not that they're unmounted, it's that they're, the computer's not reading through the firewire. So, check your SMU switch if you've got a late model G5 like this. That's a very, very good place to start if you're having firewire problems. So, good luck.